What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Killer Keemstar, and I'm here with... Only use me, blood. This is episode 50 of the Bad Kid Cast. This is the audio cast that you listen to while you game. However, things have changed a little bit. Uh, we are now in video format, and we got a new studio. And if you notice that the audio has stepped up, it's because uh, we, we kind of put together a studio. We talked about it in the last podcast. We made it happen. It happened. It is real. But before we get into the podcast, I want to give uh, a shout-out, if you will, uh, let you know about Lycus Lycus. He is a guy that does Fortress Craft, and this episode 50 is from him. Uh, he is our official sponsor for this episode. He does some of the most craziest builds ever in Fortress Craft. This dude takes not only the blocks, but the movable blocks, everything you can think of, and he makes some of the most amazing builds. Uh, it, it's just, it's unreal. Like, when you, when you watch some of this stuff, you're like, I don't know how to build this, but I guarantee you that this took forever to make. Oh I'm gonna, I gotta mute him here. Yeah, you, this dude, look, he made his own name, like the Leicas Leicas. That's crazy. And he made it, like, fuzzy, and then look at how he got it so narrow there. The main thing is in Fortress Craft, unlike Minecraft, is you can take blocks and you can shrink them down to smaller blocks. Okay. So let's say you want so to... So you're not confined to one size, per se. You're not confined to one size. You can make a bunch of little blocks into a small block and make a custom block. So you, if you're trying to do like there, see how you did the teeth? Yeah, yeah. Instead of it being a block, it's... I don't know. It's pretty cool. Uh, we're probably not showing you his best stuff because I know I've seen amazing stuff from him. Look at the tanks. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. So, so that's his channel. Obviously, in the description, definitely go check him out. Click it. Give him that sub if you're into this kind of stuff, which is, this is actually pretty cool. And this is like the second time he's sponsored an episode of the Bad Kid Cast. So shout out to you. It's really cool when we know that you know people are really happy with sponsoring an episode and they come back. You ready to start the show? Let's start the show. Let's get this thing rocking. You are now watching another Bad Kid Cast with Killer Keemstar and only use Blue Blade. All right, and we are back. Man, this feels good. It's awesome. Hello. Today's Hello. Uh, today's guest is Noah Craft. Noah, what are you, what are you known for? Uh, Minecraft videos, most likely. You play Minecraft videos. Now, see, when we went to Boston... Right. That's. Uh, I think that was the first time I met you. I met you at PAX. Yeah. And was, I was, was he at the house party or is it just at PAX? No. He okay. he was PAX. He was going to come to the house party, but things didn't work out. I can't remember what the issue was, but I um, met Noah Craft at at PAX, and I was checking out his channel and was like, "Oh, these are some pretty cool Minecraft videos." And I think he had like 30k subscribers. Now, okay. now how many subs do you have? I just hit four hundred thousand today. Just Jesus. hit four hundred thousand today Jesus. from Boston. That's crazy. So what is going Congrats. on? What is happening with the Noah Craft? Why are you blowing up? Um. Well, actually, at PAX, I um, became closer friends because it's the first time I met um, uh, Bayesian Canadian drum SF in real life. I'm sure you've heard of him at least. We um, had Bayesian. We had Bayesian Canadian on an audio episode was that the first one like the first ever no not it okay remember when we were doing the google hangouts yeah. for a session we were just doing google hangouts that type of thing yeah we were we were doing that and um yeah uh he was on there and he blew up nice. yeah he's uh, almost at two million subs now and um yeah so i came uh, close friends with him when i've already known him for like a year and then i also met adam um, at that same time at PAX and uh, he skies Minecraft and um, recorded a few videos with them each and I still do like they're I'm really good friends with them and we all have a fun time I hung out with them a bunch at PAX Prime gonna be hanging out with them in three weeks at Minecon and uh, that's just basically how you grow um, you can't really do it it's not it's not too easy to go from you know 30 or 40,000 to 400,000 quickly without uh, friends and that's why I like about Minecraft yeah. where like, everyone is always helping out. Like, the one thing I love about Mitch Jerome, and I'm specifically, and mainly all of the guys in Team Craft, I don't know if you know, but, like, there's a bunch of bigger guys in Team Crafted. Yeah. They don't give a fuck what your channel size is. They will record with you if you have 3,000 subs. They'll record if you have 3 million subs. I don't care. It's just all about if you're entertaining, if you're friends with them, and 
they don't care. They, and that's what I love about them. They're really good guys. That is that that is pretty sweet. Is you know, awesome. I wish that the Call of Duty community worked that way. <laughs> I wish people in the COD community could get... Because that's how it used to be back in 2009. Yeah, we used to do a lot of dual comms and stuff like that. But it doesn't... I mean, they still... They do a form of dual com now, as far as collaborations go. Mm-hmm. It's when they it's when they just play a game together, and they just take just the best parts of it and make like a little short little montage, if you will, of fun moments with friends. In you know? Call of Duty, not in Call of Duty. People, yeah, but that's what I'm talking about. The Call of Duty. Community. Call of Duty is not a team have fun with your friends thing. It's about murdering everybody. It's about then being the why best. did people back in 2009 and 2010 do dual commentaries? I don't know. It was awesome. Yeah. I it mean, was awesome. It was good collaborations. Like, you um, know, it, it was it, it was great. Hutch would, you know, meet up with someone or you would do a duel with someone. Mm-hmm. And that's, that was, it was a community. Yeah. It's so not a community now. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's been turned into a gaming community. It's not as much a call, like it's not the whole Call of Duty gaming scene is kind of weird right now. Yeah. It doesn't really exist. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's people that do their thing, but like everyone feels that everyone's doing it wrong, and it's like I don't know. I can say this: I feel like there's been a shift. I feel like the nothing but Call of Duty community. You know how you're saying that it's like kind of turning into like uh, all different games we play. Just we're we're, yeah. we're no longer Call of Duty people. We're YouTubers that play games, yeah, right? Yeah, YouTube gamers. How that's changing that hardcore Call of Duty community. Well, that went a long time. <laughs> All right. The camera stopped. I have no idea where it stopped. It's the... We, we do apologize because this is a new format. This is a new thing that we're doing. And so there's going to be a little hiccups on the initial start, but it will be awesome in the long run. So we apologize if there was a little stop and go. Here we are. We're going to be doing some work to get this perfect, but there's been so many hiccups. We literally... We, see, we have a Canon uh, 60... DLSR camera. I don't know. I don't know anything about cameras, right? Yeah. And I'm not would, a camera guy. It was just stopping randomly during recordings. Like, it would record for about 10 seconds, then it would just stop. And this is a fucking badass camera, too. So, you know what I mean? It's like, imagine buying a brand new car, and then it only works like half a block before it just shuts off. So, we went to uh, the Walmart, and we got brand new like amazing supposed to be top of the line cards and it just stopped again so yeah. and it actually we, we thought we were good we were doing the we were doing the podcast all excited and then we looked up and it had stopped recording so that's stupid have no idea what we were talking about something about the call of duty community they should basically you know have a little team and ship it, it's call of duty is such a one man army you are the only soldier on the field type of thing though i don't know if i made this point yet but I think it shifted, right? I think that the Call of Duty community that's just hardcore Call of Duty, I think that's moved to competitive. Uh, that is kind of... The competitive is kind of like the trend right now. Yeah. And I don't... I, I personally don't get it. I don't find it entertaining, but that's just me. I don't know. Right. But I, th- I can see how some people could find, like, you know, just pub stomping not entertaining, you know? Maybe the I think the live stuff is different though. I think the live stuff is completely different because there's this there's this live event anticipation for what's going to happen. Whereas yeah. a post production commentary, you already know this dude's going to beast and this dude's going to get the W. And a lot well, of times they put the scores in the titles. So. It was kind of cool to be at an MLG event and watch it live. Like watch people like you know yeah. getting hostile and whatnot, yelling and screaming. I would have loved to see. Check my bank account. Oh, I wish I was there oh, live that would have been too. Awesome, that would have been awesome to see that. That you seen the video, Noah? Yeah, I've seen it a bunch of times. <laughs> you know, there there was a video that came out prior to that one, right? Mm-hmm. Where a bunch of uh, pro Call of Duty people were battling it out, talking all kinds of trash, and it was in the UK, and they were making some statement that, like, it, it's bad for the sport. Everyone's like, "Oh, this is horrible. It's ruining the sport." The people in the UK talk more trash than Americans do. That's a general statement. They do. They do. Like, it's part of, like, when they play games, they talk trash. Here's the thing. How often do you play with people from the UK? I don't, because the connection is going to suck. Exactly. All right? You don't hear it. But if you were to play with people from the UK, what you'd hear is people fighting and trash talking all day long. 
They have a big trash talking community in the UK, and it carries on through their their. I think trash talking transcends regions. Like people trash talk everywhere. Yeah, but they trash talk more over in Europe. They trash talk more in the Europe competitions that they have over there. Okay. You should check it out, dude. You should check it out. Look Euro- into it. European trash talking, major league gaming. I'm right? serious. There's people from the UK and from Europe right now. They can back me up on that. But how do you how do you judge like if someone trash talks more like the severity of the trash talking, the amount of people that do it, the percentage that do it? Like, what are you basing this on? People talk a ton of trash from the UK. They do. They do. It's okay. it's a real thing. Okay, I'm not I'm not debating that. In the Call of Duty scene. I you know in Minecraft they they're probably super nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> people get mad at some Minecraft stuff too. There's some people there that get like um, Kim. I remember I invited you to one of those things. It was called Battle Dome. Do you remember it? Yeah, I remember that. Like games like that that are actually like PvP orientated. Uh, some people can get pretty pissed when like your teammate just completely screws up, and then you get, you get some people getting mad at Minecraft too. I'm but surprised not... there's not griefing videos on the GTA Five yet. Um, you get a dunce cap like you can't grief. Here's that what I was thinking. I was thinking about going to a lobby, getting a helicopter, right, and yeah. then like grabbing a helicopter, hopping out of the helicopter, throwing a, a sticky bomb on it. Okay? Oh yeah, that'd be good. And then talk to people in in the thing and be like, guys, I have this issue where I for some reason every time I try to fly my helicopter into the checkpoint. It like it, it it screws up. Can you can you fly a helicopter? Get someone to fly a helicopter and then get out. Like I don't even care if I blow up with me in there, so it doesn't matter. You That's know? a pretty good idea. And then just and just click it. So I have an amazing idea for for a griefing, if you will. Okay. And uh, Grant the thought as well. They recently came out with the money truck. Have you seen that on the map? No. What's the money truck? Okay. So the money truck is that truck that delivers the money uh, like to the banks and from the banks. You okay. know, the armored trucks, yeah. right? Well, they show up on the map, and they look kind of like your personal car, okay. but they look a little bit bigger. Okay. And so I came up with this idea because I went to this money truck, and it wasn't there. And I was like, where the heck is it? And it just like glitched or something, and it just hit me. I'm like, dude, I can get a big bob. Right? Uh-huh. The helicopter. I can latch to the money truck, pick it up in the sky, right? It's still going to show up on radar for everyone else. They're going to come to that spot, stand <laughs> right there, and be like, where is this? And I'm going to drop it on their head. That's oh awesome. My God. If that actually works, <laughs> that's amazing. I'm going to do one that. The, shit. One of the best things to do is what me and uh, Vic started doing today. I got um, the thing, the helicopter that you could pick up people, pick them up in a tank, yeah. just driving around with them, shooting out of the tank, it flying. <laughs> The oh, best. That's, that's Did he get idea. a dunce cap? No, he didn't. Dude, I got a dunce cap so easy. I went on a 25, 30 man kill streak on my stream. <laughs> I like how he goes from, I don't know why, they gave me a dunce cap. I went on a 25 <laughs> nuclear 30 dude murder spree. I went. I killed someone so much they made a new Xbox account. So. I, I, went, <laughs> I went into a lobby, right, mm-hmm. and I spawned a tank. And I noticed that everybody on on this lobby was like down in the city. So I went down in the city, right? And I just started marking them, dude. I just did not let up. I did not let up. I just kept killing them and killing them and killing them and killing them, right? And all of a sudden, I'm wearing this dunce cap. And I'm like, I don't remember putting this on. And then someone was explaining it to me. And I was like, oh, this is kind of a funny thing. And then I lost it the next day in the stream. Oh, uh, that's weak. Because you can't get into your friends. And it makes me so angry. Like I want to strangle the person that at made Rockstar. That cap roll. I yeah. don't know why they go out of their way to make rules on video games that hurt the player. No, that's the that reason why they make rules for anything. So you can't be a complete ass. But that's the point of Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto is all about going in there and murdering people. I understand that. So now they made a class where if you kill people in a lobby, other players, it's like, you have it's to play. It's kind of like skill-based matchmaking then. If you want to go around and murder people, then they're going to make you play in lobbies where other people want to murder you too. Then they should do that. They shouldn't put a fucking dunce cap on your head. That's what they do. You start off normal, and then if you if you fuck around too much, then you go to the, 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 the fuck target. All right. The prison all right, version listen. of GTA. But, but, 
But then what are we playing? What is the point of playing? What is the point of going on Grand Theft Auto if you can't kill people? You can kill people. It's just going to put you in lobbies where you're, you're killing other people that want to kill people. I can understand. But as far as – here's the thing. Think about this for a second, okay? Just think about this for one hot second. The, the, the online multiplayer is a new thing. It's like week, two weeks old, right? Can't hear you, man. The, you, the Grand Theft Auto is like a, a, a – online is like a two-week-old thing, right? So imagine you first get on and you're like, okay, I want to f- explore the city. I want to get started. And you got some fucking asshole in a tank. You, who've pl- who's played it like 100 hours, comes by in a tank and just blows you up 10 times in a row. That's the point. I would not play that after that. I'd be like, fuck this. That's, I think it's... Though I think that's, it's go ahead. The players like Blade was saying, but what's really stupid about it is you can't invite your friends into your lobby. That's retarded. Yeah. Like, not, you invite friends. That, not is, only, that is a little stupid. Not only that, but you can't play with your friends at that point. Your friend needs to go out and murder people and get a dunce cap in order to play with your friends. I'm not doing that. You can't set up a private match and invite your friends. Like, it doesn't you work. Be punished for it. You should not be punished to it, but I understand if, like, Skill based matchmaking, it just puts you with your friends. I, I think that what, but what, Keem say, what, but what Keem's saying, though, you should be able to invite your friends, though. Like, if you guys want to party up, then you guys should be able to party up. You can't. It, it's, it's absolutely ludicrous. Things like that ruin games. They just ruin the game. They ruin the game because what, what they're sending a message is, is don't kill other players in lobbies, correct? Isn't that the message they're trying to send? Yeah. So, what is the point? What do you do on Grand Theft Auto Live? What do you do? Oh, we're just going to run around and steal friggin' uh, – me and my friends are going to steal money from a computer. It gives you the computer. options to do all kinds of shit, dude. You can yeah, do but all the- kinds of shit. There's, there's so many other things you could do in Grand Theft Auto besides just trying to – Okay, let me ask you a question. Sure. Why the fuck would you rank your player up? Why would you rank up, unlock a fucking tank if you can't murder people? It's like saying, here's, here's, here's Call of Duty online, all right? Enjoy the game, right? Mm-hmm. But if you end up killing people, right? <laughs> it's completely different than that. No, it's yeah. the same fucking thing. It's have really you different. have you ran across the, the like I want to meet these people in real life, but have you ran across the people that are playing darts? No. What the fuck? What? I, I literally I was robbing stores and I ended up like trying to lose levels. Okay. For for a minute I thought you were talking about IRL. No. I'm like, what the fuck? This dude's like hanging out at a cafe or something, no. getting his latte, like, oh, you're a dart player. Oh. No, th- these dudes these dudes literally <laughs> were out in the countryside and they were at the like one of the shitty bars. Okay. And they were playing darts. And I'm like, of all the shit to do in Grand Theft Auto I don't play darts in real life. That's how lame it is. Now, if you're a pro dart player, I apologize if I'm if I'm making fun. I of like your... playing cricket at a bar. But you would you wouldn't get on on Grand Theft Auto online and go, hey, let me invite you to this dart game, bro. Come on, let's go. <laughs> like what? There must be some money glitch. What if you what if you can make like a million dollars? If you made a million dollars playing darts, I probably still wouldn't play it. Yeah, you would. No. Yes, I'd do anything you would. for a million dollars. Like anyone would, even in game. Yeah. So well, yeah. And we are back. We had more uh, camera f- fucking problems. We will figure it out, guys. But we're doing it to bring the best show to you. It turned off again. Go figs. Go figs. So, Grand Theft Auto, I fucking love it. I love it so much. Yeah. I, I can't, like, we're going to probably talk more about Grand Theft Auto, but I want to just take two seconds to show you something. What do you This is something... That I stumbled across. Somebody tweeted this at me. Check this shit out. This, this is mind blowing here. Uh, Every day we throw away millions of electronic devices because they get old and become worn out. This is true. But usually it's only one of the components that causes the problem. Just because I pissed my pants on my phone today. The rest breaks. of the device works fine. But <laughs> it's needlessly thrown away. That's what I'm saying. Simply because electronic devices are not designed to last. They're not designed to this last. This makes electronic really? waste one of the fastest growing waste streams in the world. I'm sure there's an electronic phone is one of the biggest dump causes. somewhere with a million phones. Probably is. So this is a new kind of phone. It's made of blocks. Noah, the phone's made out of blocks. Detachable. Blocks. Yeah, I know. It's actually really cool. They are all connected to the base, and the base connects everything together. I have something to say about that after, though. Through the pins. Yeah. The video's done. And two small screws lock everything in place. So if, for instance, your phone is getting a little slow, you can just upgrade the block that affects the speed. That's or if something cool. breaks, 
you can easily replace it with a new one or update it with the latest version. Somebody uh, sent this to me on Twitter today and my mind was just... So let's say this is your phone and you do everything in the cloud. Why not replace your storage block for a bigger battery block? If you're like this guy and love to take pictures, why not upgrade your camera? Or if you don't care about any of this stuff, if you can keep it guy. simple and get a bigger speaker. So you I just thought that was amazing. That's um, that's pretty cool, like. but I don't think it's... I equate that to... Or even develop your own Go books. ahead and turn that off there, Keith. Thank you. I equate that to when... Don't tell me what to do. I just told you what to do. I won't I listen. equate that to turning it back on. we could have cars <laughs> that drive without off of farts and sunshine, but the thing is that it, the major corporations aren't going for it. Yeah. Okay? yeah. Apple is not going to be happy if there's literally a phone that that people can customize a piece together and like slowly upgrade over time because they want you to buy a new iPhone every year. We get that. We all know that, right? Mm-hmm. So there, it's that it's not gonna it's not gonna go. Like that's just how things work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. But the consumer could like demand that, and that's what this whole video is about. They want people to say, "Yes, we want this. This is better. We want this." Oh, know. so that's not like a product being made. That's just an idea. That's just an idea. Yeah. It, yeah, uh, it, it was basically an idea, and the guy said, "Look, you know." So was it a Kickstarter type of situation? Yeah, I think it was Kickstarter or something like that. I don't know. Somebody on Twitter sent it to me. We could watch the end to no, get the answer if you no. want to find out what it is. Just keep it a mystery. Keep that it, reminds keep it me fresh. a lot of just Why would like, you want to uh, keep it a mystery? People are probably like, what the <laughs> hell? I want to know. That reminds me a lot of just like building your own computer. Like, yeah. you know, you yeah. pick whatever parts you want, whatever suits you. Like you pick, or like just like the, the block anything. thing was like the motherboard and everything else was just different pieces that go onto it. That's kind of the same yeah. concept. It's a cool concept. Yeah. But I don't know if it, I don't. I like it. It's a cool idea. I want to check out the bass here. <coughs> Special. It's it sounds pretty yep. awesome. That is pretty good. Every time I drink Coke, well, pop in general. It's the, it's the carbonation. Burp. It's the carbonation. Burp. Bam. So that was one interesting thing that happened. Our government's still shut down. Yes, it is. Not oh. mine, motherfuckers. I'm Canadian. Oh. Boo. <laughs> Not really boo. It's like, um, I don't know. So the one thing that me... I don't really have any feelings about Canada, the one, bad or good. The so. one thing me and now you ever. and Noah have in common is Tim Hortons. Yes. Oh, you guys have Tim Hortons? Yeah, yeah we do. So oh, awesome. You guys are lucky Americans. I, I, well, I love Tim Hortons. See, the thing is, is that um, Tim Horton was a hockey player. Do you know that? Yeah. Okay, and he played for the Buffalo Sabers. So oh, here in Buffalo, New York. So when they launched Tim Hortons, they launched it here in in Buffalo because he played for the Sabers. And yeah, that's interesting that there's a sports uh, star behind the coffee brand. Well, he's not really behind it. He died in a car accident, and they just like in honor of him, they named it after him. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, so he had nothing to do with. Yeah, the company? No, yeah, so. he he had nothing to do with the company. That's kind of ridiculous. Okay, so like... I'm, I don't want to talk ill about this man's death, but that's a little ridiculous. It'd be like uh, making a... No, you don't have to give an example. It's literally a hockey player died in a car accident and they made a coffee company based on that. What? That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> that's how ridiculous that is. It doesn't even need an okay, example. Uh, who, what celebrity died re- recently? Uh, James Ferrara. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Glee guy. Glee. Oh, the guy from Glee? That's a celebrity? I didn't see I've, I've never seen Glee. a celebrity. A lot of people Glee. cared. I didn't, but a lot of people cared. Well, then how do you know his name? I don't know. This motherfucker's watching Glee. I'm not watching Glee. Get out <laughs> yeah. of here. He's the, one that said, he's the one that said Glee. I'm, I'm saying the dude that, um, I'm trying to remember like some shows. He was like on Law, he was like one of the detectives on Law and Order. He was in the movie Out of Sight. He was in the show, he was the Dustin Hoffman's uh, right-hand man in the show Luck. Okay. About, the, about the horse racing. All right, so he was he's a been in more stuff than Glee. I don't know if he's been in Glee. I've never watched uh, Glee. All right, so what's his name again? James Ferrara. Okay, James Ferrara. Maybe we're probably butchering that. Butchering I don't even I don't even know this fucker. But James Ferrara dies. Let's say that you were going to start a new company. Why can't you call it James Ferrara? 
Because because that's very very odd and weird that you would name a person that has nothing to do with coffee, doesn't have a business. Yeah, we can't hear you. But so you're saying that's really weird because we we uh, we, like, we don't know the guy. Maybe we should like find the history. And okay, if you guys don't understand, I you know, and they probably hate this because when I hear someone doing a podcast and they're talking about a coffee spot or a restaurant that's only in their area. It doesn't really interest me. So maybe uh, you people around the country and over in Europe don't care about Tim Hortons. But Tim Hortons is amazing. It's so good that eventually one day it will be in your city. So that's, people, that's him. Wait, that guy died? That guy died. I thought it was a young kid that died. No, that, that gentleman died. Okay, Noah, do you know who that is? Uh, barely see. It looks really red. It's like an old guy. Yeah. I'll try I think to... I've seen him, yeah. Yeah, I know he is. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try to find some better shots. Go ahead and talk to him. Real All right. Quick. Well, I, I don't know. We I think we got enough shots. I mean, probably put Noah back up. And people like... An old guy. Like when guy. I was in uh, Boston for PAX East, like my friend Palmer, he took me to Dunkin' Donuts because I've never been to one. It's so shit. It's like the... Like he's like, oh, this is good. And then I'm like, no, you can't... Like you... That's not good. It's, yeah. Never had it, and he's like, "Oh, I guess I've never had Tim Hortons, but Tim Hortons is probably not that much better." And it's like, no, I literally I got a coffee and I threw it out. Blade does Blade does not have Tim Hortons in Seattle. He came here. The first thing he had was Tim Hortons. What What was your opinion? It's bomb, super good. Like <laughs> if they if it's just, it's extremely good. And the thing is, you could start okay. a Tim Hortons for two hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's crazy. You can you can launch a brand for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Recently. A celebrity died that was really popular, and I'm trying to think of who it was because it was kind of like a shocker. Oh, Kanye, Tom- Kanye West's credibility. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Con- Kanye West, uh, Before I don't want to get distracted from my original thought. I'll say that, and then we'll talk about Kanye. Um, Tom Clancy died. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tom Clancy died. Yeah, he the guy behind Rainbow Six. He's actually an author. Yeah. And then it like, transcended it into a video game. I always laugh when people like think of him strictly for like the Rainbow Six and the video games. Yeah. When he's written so many books that have become pretty epic movies. But here's the thing. I would not know who Tom Clancy was if there wasn't a Rainbow Six. That's... No. Same. No. I disagree But with I that. wouldn't... And there's people listening that agree with me. I agree. Do you don't remember... I remember Tom Clancy from as a kid. He, used to, he was a writer. He, he wrote books. I think it's because it's... The, you the read game's books. Like, <laughs> the game is literally Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. I think yeah, that's and why. that's how we know that name yeah. is because that motherfucker... That's kind of like the... Um, now, he he obviously didn't develop it right he's not a game he developer probably, no he probably developed the story that the game's based right. off of right so and that's weird uh when we were at e3 there was this greg something he's this famous paintball player right greg hansing okay or it was that pax greg hands something i've been racking my brain because i do not know any paintball professional okay paintball people. well either do i but the reason why i know this motherfucker mm-hmm. is because he's got a video game and i played the first one and it's pretty good okay but what i'm saying though is that tom clancy transcends video games like, yeah this greg dude i met he that transcends... guy at pax east yeah greg what's his yeah. name hans Han... i don't know his name but at the paintball booth we were going to go paintball at their place and then he talked to us about YouTube stuff. He literally let me use my phone charger. That dude saved my charger, and I played his video game before, and I got to be. He's a cool dude. Uh, but the He's thing cool. is, is that dude right there? Why don't they have Wi-Fi at these PAX events? It's stupid. Because it'll be so shitty. So Everyone would connect to it. Stop. Imagine how shitty that'd be. All right. I li- uh-huh. it, I looked up and it stopped as I looked up. So. All right. Is it running and out of space? Or? We're coming back. I got my eye on it. We're good. All right. And clap. What were you saying? You met Greg Hansting? Yeah. Yeah. I met him at um, PAX East when we were going to go like to Barry Paintball. Or not Barry Paintball, the hell. Um, Boston Paintball. Yeah. He was. Uh, at, were you, did you meet him at that booth too? The paintball booth? Yeah, he actually let me use my phone charger, and he charged up my phone. It was pretty cool. 
Yeah, he talked to um, us all about like YouTube stuff and his video game, and it seemed pretty cool. Seemed like Duncan, a nice guy. Duncan at one of the PAX things, he was telling me about uh, Duncan from Scuff Gaming. He was telling me about over um, overseas that the bars actually you can place your phone on the bar, yeah, and it will charge it. It was a really cool thing that they had at PAX West. It was like uh, I don't know what the fuck it was. But it was something where, yeah, just like you were saying. Yeah, I think that's awesome. I don't know why we are still in this mode where we have to like plug in the back of our like a little pin into the phone. If you could just like place it on a mat, and just I don't. Charge. I don't understand why we have to plug anything in. Like, why if you can have a fucking calculator that goes around and works whenever and charges all day from a little, you know. Uh, sunray catcher or whatever it's called uh, so it takes a lot less power yeah it takes a lot less okay power I, you, than to run these little mini computers I, we call cell phones dude now. the sun has so much power dude it should be you should be able to like walk outside and fully charge your battery your screen would have to be like a solar thing and what if you're in the dark yeah using it before you go to bed i don't know i think x-rays can like or i don't know x-rays well so solar rays can hit you wherever yeah, that's actually where it's at, bro. Like, if you were to get solar paneling for your house, you would like you could use that to power your whole house. You wouldn't have an yeah. electric bill. And then if there's you a house near that does that. And then if you wanted to sell your house, your house they is worth that. way more cheese. Yeah. And dude, I'm thinking like, let's get some windmills, bro. Let's get some windmills. And the amount of power, not only could that power like the whole block, you could have the entire. Imagine having your whole block every month. Dropping cash off at your house because you gave them power for their fucking house. Yeah, you know how gangster that would be. That would be awesome. That's what um, someone near my house does. That with solar panels, they do it for like a few of their neighbors. Yeah, sell energy. Imagine all the neighbors coming to you and dropping off cash. That that would be funny. That would be funny. That would be epic. That'd be awesome. Their whole roof is solar panels. Yeah, just make it like a, a standard like eighty dollars a month. Yeah. Bill never changes. I don't care what you plug in your house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to run out of sun? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, apparently, there's this thing that they do, right? And it's so simple. You know how they make solo- solar panels and they have to make like bunches of them and spread them all over the place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's this new thing that they do where they, they, instead of solar panels, they just put mirrors. They put all these mirrors all over. And they all reflect the mirrors into one one solar panel mm-hmm. and it gets like the charge from everything around the area that's crazy and it, it's Smart. just yeah so instead of spending all this money to make all these solar panels you can have one solar panel and I, internet you're probably going to debunk me and, and, and this, i'm probably like <laughs> fucking talking on my ass right now all the solar panel experts are coming out but yeah. this is this is what i heard this is what i was heard i was in this conversation and this dude was saying that basically they just point mirrors at one solar panel now. They figured out the, the, how to make that work. That's, Surprised they didn't think of that a lot earlier, though. Yeah. yeah. The technology came out. Like, they didn't test that to see if that would work. Yeah. I'm it's just saying, weird. man, like, to, to make money off of the sun. Make money off the sun. I just You know the sun's always going to come through. Well, the thing is, is solar <laughs> panels are so much cheaper than they ever have been. That's what I'm saying. Well, just do it. I, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll just... Put it up in the house and start selling it. I mean, do, do some research. It's not like it's not like going to be like a USB plug that you plug your neighbors into. Like, Dude, my electric you're have to bill. Do some, some research. My but. electric bill sometimes, no joke, is like four hundred dollars a month. Like what? it's insane. Four hundred a month? Well. Dude, I have a hot tub. I got all these electronics. I don't turn off lights. They just stay on 24-7. They stay yeah. on during the day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, turn off the lights and everything. But, like, well, the hot tub's a big thing. And also, like, a lot of electronics, you know, I don't know. Yeah. 400. Jeez. It's, it's a lot. It's, uh, it's, it's a lot. So, yeah, get that solar panel game up. I should. I should. Is that going to be fucked up during the winter, mm-hmm. though, with the snow? Uh, you, you might have to shovel it. Imagine shoveling your roof. I don't like shoveling snow <laughs> off my car. I you're going to be on the roof? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't like... As soon as I became a gamer, I started spending a lot more time inside. Yes. All right? And it seems like it's almost a chore to go and walk at the park and, and go outside and do activities. It's almost a chore. But when winter comes, like, I want to go sledding. Yeah. 
I want to like go outside. I want to like. So I don't think can, it would be. Can I say something? I used man? to get. The, I, I still feel... get the biggest kick out of like shoveling the driveway. Really? Yeah. I one thing that I cannot stand, man, is that every time I leave my house, no matter what I'm doing, okay, it involves me breaking bread and spending money. Literally, yep. every time I leave my house, it's to go give little pieces of my pie away. You know what I mean? That's the way it works, yeah. man. And it's like. Fuck. Like, if I stay at home, I'm not spending any money. You know what I mean? Well, I can do online shopping. Have, whatever, has so. anyone actually taken the time to think about how much money we spend on food? It's oh, ridiculous. Like, it's insane, dude. It's, it's, it's insane. insane. It's insane. Dude. We, we buy something and it's just gone. It's just gone. You, you, you don't even get the... I, some people, like, they go and spend a, lot, a ton of money at a restaurant. I don't understand it. Like, I always want to buy the cheapest thing because the fucking... You're not going to say that. <laughs> Listen to this. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to say no, that. No, no. You got to hear this, dude, because this blew my mind. And I understand where he's coming from, but this is still a little ridiculous. Okay. What? The pizza thing. What pizza thing? Okay. He... I like pizza. Everyone likes pizza, right? Right. But he'll get this little Caesars, which is crap. <laughs> it is the <laughs> shitty. It's the shittiest pizza ever. I don't care that they're giving you two thirty-inch pies for five dollars. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's bad pizza. Right. Okay. It's like you don't want to buy it just because it's shit. You don't want just because it's cheap shit. You don't want shit. exactly. So. I don't want shit. I love it. And so he goes. He's like, so what? It's just pizza. I'm like, yeah, but you're eating it. And he's like. And then you then he tried to come at me, and this is the question he asked me. This is what Keem asked me: Would you, for ten dollars, would you rather have a pizza right now, but it's kind of shit, or would you rather have the best pizza in the world, but it's going to take forty five minutes to make? <laughs> what the fuck? And That's so any normal wait. person will be like, "Oh wait, oh wait." Keem's like, "Why? You're just going to eat it, and it's going to be gone." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But that's not <laughs> the best but, pizza in the world. But here's the thing, though, dude. You don't want to live. Okay, there's lots of little. Here's things. the thing. Why here's do you the ha- thing. Why do you pay your electric bill, dude? That's he- a lot of money. Here's the thing. Why? Because can you- Can I ask you a question? All right. Go ahead. If you have to wait 45 minutes mm-hmm. for that pizza to get done, mm-hmm. all right. And it's the best. Can ever. you Can you set it in your phone? Like, are, are you going to actually set a timer in your phone for so when 45 minutes are up? It's like, hey, reminder, you got to go pick up a pizza. And for that 45 minutes, are you going to completely forget about it and you're just going to go on with your day? Yeah. No. No. I do. That whole 45 minutes, you're like, fuck, 10 more minutes. Uh, Let's see, eight. God damn, I can't wait until 45 minutes is up. I got to get that pizza. But here's the thing, Keem. I'm fucking starving. You want things like instant yeah you want everything instant and what? the thing is that not everything can be instant it doesn't work that way i want it as fast as possible when i you order were, a pizza ahead. and it makes sense to do this in my mind at least i think ahead when i'm thinking i'm going to be hungry in, in an hour i order a pizza and then so it arrives and then it has five minutes to cool down and then i'm hungry and i eat it just i'm i think ahead like yeah. that and I get the best pizza in the world if you're using that. Scenario. I wait until my body's like, "Yo, you're you're hungry, bro," and then I just go get the pizza. I'm just I'm just saying though, <laughs> man. Like, you okay? You just have to realize that things that are good, you have to wait a tiny bit for it. Hold your horses. So you could order it and plan, like he said, plan it out. Okay, and there has been times where I planned it out, right? But if it comes to a moment. Where I'm hungry and it just hits me like, oh shit, I forgot to eat breakfast. Mm-hmm. I'm hungry. I've been here working for a couple hours. I'm hungry. I'm not going to go and order something that's going to take 45 minutes to get. It's not happening. I'm not doing it. I'm getting going to get food and then I'm getting back to what I'm doing. Because food is about fucking 15 minutes of pleasure and then bam, gone. Forever. Keem, here's you don't here's get to a fucking bring your for you. You don't get to... Uh, you don't get to bring your pizza home and like put it up on the plaque and like or put it up like yeah, but uh, lo- lots have, of things are, are instant gratification. I have like the that. best analogy ever. Go, right. so good. Okay, so let's say you have the option to buy a eight hundred pound hooker right now. She's at your doorstep. She's like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm down to That's pound. That's completely right? different. You want to do that, or for for in an hour, the best looking girl you've ever seen in your life. Best looking girl. We'll yeah. come over to your house. That's that's a horrible that's that's a it's, horrible it's, analogy it's tw- because it's, it's twenty minutes. Thing. Listen, listen. It is not the same. Twenty thing. minutes, like 
minutes. I'm quoting you here. It's 15, 20 minutes or whatever, and then what is it? It's gone. Same thing. Okay, so but, same thing. but with that analogy, right, when you're talking about the 85, the uh, whatever, 800-pound woman, right, they're you can't you can't equate that to Little Caesars Pizza. That's like <laughs> that's like a fucking garbage out of a uh, out of a dumpster, right? That's the analogy there. <laughs> All right, like <laughs> you know what All I right. mean. Two hundred pounds. Little Caesars 200? Pizza isn't perfect, but it I isn't said, an eight hundred two hundred pound, 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 pound woman. Two hundred pound woman. No. To, to the one to the one thirty. No, because like I I don't do fat chicks. That. That's what you do. Fat chip we pizza. Don't shitty pizza. You do shitty pizza. It's just a <laughs> nut. You're just gonna nut and fucking make a sandwich and be done with it. Fifteen minutes later. Listen. Regardless, it's listen, wet skin. It's just wet skin. Just listen, more of it. Listen. 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 Somehow we went from food to women. How? Because he made a, a very food, good fucking point. Th- no, he didn't. No, he didn't. How because did he not? it does not transcend. What I'm saying is, is you eat food. Right, and then it's gone. It's gone. It's yeah, over with. You fuck, you nut, and then you're done. How is it's that a different? Hooker, especially, it's a hooker. Yeah. I know, but you're like banging like a dis like it's, it's just that's they're two okay. different worlds. You can't banging, put them together. Banging an average everyday girl, or bang, or you can fucking have the model. No one. Okay, you'd probably wait for the model. Everyone would wait yes, for the model. Thank you, thank you. So you. Just- so so I'm supposed to wait for pizza because you decided. That food and women have bam. to be the same. Bam, bam. It's going to be a fucking nightmare to edit. Yeah. Your question before we had to start. So the you're over. telling me, so you're telling me that yeah. I have. I have to say that pizza and women are the same thing. They have to be the, the same thing. The way that you're... The, that's They're the not! Way that you're looking at They're it, not! Though. That's the way that you're looking at no, it, No, I'm though. not looking at it. Because you're looking at it like, you know what? It's just, it's just pizza. I'm just going to eat it, and I'm going to be done with it. That, 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 isn't that what you said? This is what's wrong with people and analogies, right? Because you can make any analogy that you... That you, can, you can come up with any analogy to win an argument. It, dude, we're not trying to. It's this isn't a battle. This isn't a thing where I'm like I'm trying to win some kind of I'm just podcast saying, argument with you. This is just to show you why what you're saying doesn't make sense, and we're and we're giving you different examples because you're not understanding the common sense part of it. That's why that's why analogies are there. To, to I'm people. hungry. I'm getting Little Caesars. I'm not waiting 45 I'm minutes horny. for a better pizza. I want to bang abroad, which but I'll wait for the hotter one. I wait for the hotter one too. There you go. So wait. Why don't you wait for the hotter pizza? If you're hungry, wait for the better food. Yeah. No. No, I'm I'm hungry now. I'm gonna just eat now. I'm done with it. Why I'm like back at work, getting on with my day, right? You know, you're still going to get that pizza. Why do you go to nice restaurants? Yeah, you're just gonna well, wait longer and more. The, so the reason why I go to nice restaurants is be based on a celebration. It's part of celebration, you know. You, if that's you're going true. out to celebrate, you know, you go to nice restaurants. I know I'm gonna wait. You know, that's okay. not what it's about. It's about the celebration, you okay. know. So, I don't know. I don't know. I like little, little Caesar deep dish. I think that's good. But it's just there's so much better deep pizza dish, out there. Did I say it right? Why live like that? That's like saying, like, here's the thing. I understand that. Yes, you can clip coupons and you could make it so that you live the the life so motherfucking efficiently or whatever, right? Right. But there's certain luxuries that either I've grown accustomed to or I just enjoy little pleasures in life. That let, let's take advantage of those little pleasures instead of eating, instead of living this life and eating the shittiest pizza in the world. Why don't you have a really good pizza? Dying like a king. Okay, dude. Okay, your your car. Why don't you have like a Chevy Cavalier from the eighties? It's a car, right? You have a nicer car because it's it's nice to be able to get okay. your car. Okay, that's that's look, it, you could talk about cars, you could talk about fish, you could talk about airplanes, right? I'm talking about fucking food, right? So if you want to give me an analogy on food, I, I'm cool with you. But it, when you change the conversation about a fucking pizza to a fat hundred, five hundred, eight hundred pound woman, <laughs> right? And then you change it to like a car, right? We're not talking about women or cars. I, we're talking about fucking pizza. No, we're talking about fucking we're talking life about luxuries. Pizza. We're talking about life luxuries. That's what I'm talking about, life luxuries. So when I say that I don't give a fuck, 
I want to eat right now, I'm going to get a little Caesar pizza and not wait for the fucking way more expensive pizza that takes way longer, right? You can't come at me, well, why don't you, uh, why don't you bang a $500 <laughs> woman? Or why don't you just go and you know, drive a shitty car because you can get it right now and you don't I'm, have to I'm wait until make, that I'm model just, comes I'm, out. I'm just making it's it. not the same thing! The it prostitute is, is, one was the same it, thing. It, it, is, it is the same thing. It's I'm not. not I'm not saying you're wrong. You've already. You've already. You're not wrong. We're, I'm just saying the reason why I feel that way is because of little life luxuries that make your day a little bit better. Well, what makes Dri- your day better? Uh, when I get up and go to the store and drive, uh, I'm comfortable in my car. That makes my day better. Oh, I have the perfect analogy for you, Keem. Bam. Again. Stop with the analogies, because whatever you're going to talk about, we're not talking about. We're talking about pizza. Okay, you ready? Okay, there's a Tim Hortons a little bit farther, and there's a freaking Dunkin' Donuts. Which one do you go to Dude, to get coffee? you know what? This is no lie. <laughs> Ask that's Blake. A good one. Dude, where I live, right, there's a Dunkin' Donuts that's closer than the Tim Hortons. You have to pass the Dunkin' Donuts. And there's times that I've went to Dunkin' Donuts instead of Tim Hortons. Oh, see? Fuck. Do you, Keem? I, I appreciate that, man. You do you, even though you know you that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't. I'm. I like to work. I like to work. All right. The things that I'm passionate about, like this podcast. All right, and uh, you know the stuff I do on YouTube and whatever. Right. I'm passionate about it. I want to work. Right. If I have to go out and eat, right, that's taking time from what I I'm I'm really not, want to do. I'm, okay, now, in my defense, I'm not talking about you going out to a five-star restaurant for, for a quick bite to eat. Of course, that's, that's ridiculous. That's insane. Here's the thing, Blade. When you think about food or eating something, you're like, I want to eat something really good. Of course, right? yes. I don't think that way. I'm like, fuck, I'm hungry. i got to eat something real quick, and then I can get back to what I really want to do, which is you know, this YouTube thing that I'm doing. You know? Okay. I'm not like... Okay, time out. I want to eat something awesome. I have felt like that before, and I go to a restaurant and I wait just like you. Which is funny because you know what? You almost did this. He was telling me about these these rolls, these rolls that yeah. you're like super. Like you're like, dude, I want these rolls super bad. I'm like, okay, where do we have to go to get these rolls? And it's like a forty minute drive. Yep. And he was seriously contemplating driving forty minutes to get these dinner rolls. They're amazing. They're amazing. And that actually, that place. <laughs> that, I'm out my mind right now. Like, <laughs> see what I'm saying? So I'm not like that every day, but when I'm, for the most part, right, I don't fucking set out to have a day where I go out and eat something amazing. I agree. I set out to do something else that has nothing to do with food, and food is a distraction to what I'm doing. And I and I agree with you. I don't think that we have to go out to a very nice restaurant every single day. I totally agree with you. But I would never drop my level so low as to eat Little Caesars. <laughs> I have more self-respect for myself than that. You've ate Little Caesars at my house. Yeah, because that was the only thing there. I was probably drunk. <laughs> yeah. Literally. I'll give All you an right. example. One time, Little Caesars opened up near my house back home. And they gave me the pizza and forgot to ring me up. And I like stood there with my card, like waving it at them. And they just didn't know what the fuck was going on. So I left with free pizza. And I still felt like I overpaid. I didn't pay anything. <laughs> and I overpaid. Little Caesars is garbage. I, I don't mind the deep dish. You don't mind? What do you mean you don't mind? Because I doesn't... <laughs> what a good food review. I don't mind it. It's all right. It's edible. Here, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm eating it, and that's it. It's over with. It's gone. I don't fucking dwell on what I ate earlier today. I, and, and, I, and I agree with you. I'm not saying let's go out to the most ridiculous, amazing food every single time we eat. This conversation is just way too long about food. This is ridiculous. Let's talk about something else. Uh... Apparently, the government is still shut down. Yes, your government. What? What? Is, oh, yeah, you're Canadian. Uh, what is the thoughts from Blade? <laughs> don't really care. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> it doesn't really affect me. Like, I don't mess with the government. The government doesn't mess with me. I'm kind of like living off the grid anyway. All right, like, I'll tell you what's going on. Like, the, technically speaking, no one really knows I live out in New York. So go figure. The funniest thing in the world was when the government got shut down. People on Twitter were like thinking that it was the purge. They were thinking that, like, 
there were no cops, there was nothing, uh, that we were going to get nuked, that there was no military. Yeah. Like, they thought the government really shut down, right? There was yeah. no one enforcing it. And people on Twitter are so fucking stupid, right? Like the White House was going to get boarded up or something. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Retards. So, uh, but it's a battle between Republicans and Democrats over Obamacare, and that's why the government got shut down. Um, and I won't go into explaining it. You'd look it up if you don't know what's going on. But the funny thing that's happened recently is Obama keeps on doing these like executive orders and stuff mm -hmm. to open up different things. So they're like, all right, well, we need to have these parks open. So they open up the parks, right? Yeah. We need to have the Statue of Liberty open. So we have to have that. Uh, we need to pay uh, veterans that had died in war. We need to pay them their wife's money and so they he ex executive can, orders and sends money that way right I, okay. but here's the thing obama is losing so bad he's losing so bad because he's passing the things that republicans want passed right and the thing that's set behind that isn't getting passed is obamacare so eventually we're going to get you know to a what? point where everything passes in the budget except for Obamacare. You know what I'm looking forward to in this whole Obama administration thing? This is what I'm looking forward to. Did it stop recording? No, it looks good. No, there's no red dot. Oh, shit. And we're back. Boom. Mm. Didn't even know you were right back. I was reading YouTube comments. This episode is brought to you by... <laughs> is that Little Caesars? Yeah. Oh, uh, good. I had some in my fridge from earlier. <laughs> oh, nice. So good, you, you savor it for later. <laughs> <laughs> How much money a day do you think you spend on food? Uh, lately, actually, lately, I've been, I've been just going to the store and then stocking up on food and having food at the house. It's been lovely. Sometimes that's more expensive. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, not it's not even it is. close. What are, you, what are you buying at the store that's more expensive than going out? Because if you buy something at the store, it's not like that's one meal. It's for multiple meals. I'm the worst eater ever. I can eat crackers, cheese, and pepperoni every day. I'd get tired. Well, I need, well, I need, I need, I I need meats. Like, I, I need... Yeah. To, like, I'll, it's fucked up. Like, every time I go to the store, I buy a bunch of meats, and then I buy the stuff to, like, work around it. But that's, like, the foundation. I eat meat mm -hmm. every day. Like, uh, I don't know how vegetarians, vegetarians, I don't know how you do it. And if you are a vegetarian, you're eating all of the animal's food anyway, so you're fucking them over more. <laughs> it was so funny. I'm friends with a vegan, and we were at um, Adam's party, Sky's Minecraft, and he was really hammered, and he was literally taking, like, steaks and slapping my vegan friend in the face with it. <laughs> so it was funny. That's awesome. It's just, and I don't, it's like, I don't have any... Um, I came up with this analogy earlier today. Someone was talking about, someone made a video and they talked about they think they should legalize weed, which I agree. I think they should legalize weed. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense. Why not? Okay. Even if you don't smoke weed, why would you, why would you, who's voting down on that? This is why weed is illegal. Racism. <laughs> Stop. What? And that's it the is. one coming out of everything. Yeah. Out it of is. all the things. Well, maybe you should pay attention to history then. During the twenties, roaring twenties, uh, the yeah, black community, she, yeah, she, the black community started uh, smoking the marijuana, and it was like really popular in the back in, in the black community. And when they made it illegal, they did it so they could basically harass black people. Okay, weed not being legal is on the same tip as uh, gay marriage not being legal. Who does it hurt? Yeah, I don't get it. And who is a? I'm just saying, who is the anti weed party? Who who is the anti? I'm not gay, but I don't care if gay people want to marry. Now that's a good analogy. That's yeah. a good analogy because all my analogies are good. Well, that one right there was good because in 2013, mm -hmm. when have you ever talked to another human being that was like, yeah, I think they should uh, totally legalize marijuana. Never. When yeah, have you ever talking? When have you ever talking or talked to another human being that thinks that there should be no gay marriage? I've never talked yeah. to. Like my dad is probably the most conservative person I know, and he's like, "Well, if they 
if they want to be faggots, let them be faggots. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and you know, that'd be a good T-shirt. He's an old conservative. Hey, if you want to be faggots, be faggots. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's the thing. Like, who are these people? Yeah, that... who are who's against it? You know what I mean? Like, who? And that's that is the main reason why Republicans are losing now. Like Mitt Romney probably could have beaten Obama. He probably could have beaten him if he would have just said, "Look, I think we should legalize marijuana." I have no problem with abortions, and um, gay people, they can get married. Yeah. Because Republicans have a better sense of economics than Democrats. Okay. But Republicans are, uh, they're, they're, they're worshiping these, like, religious people that believe this ridiculous shit. Yeah. About abortion and gay rights. You can have and religious like, beliefs, but when it starts affecting other people, that's when I'm like, yeah, hold up there, buddy. Don't be stop being so self righteous. Stop thinking that your law. You were talking about this with Kanye West, right? Yeah. So he he made a really good point. We were talking in the car, and I, honestly, I wish we could do the podcast in the car because like car that's conversations awesome. in the lack are epic. Like mm-hmm. I don't know what it is, but you just feel comfortable. You cruise. I'm actually going to do a Sunday Chill commentary of me just cruising Grand Theft Auto, a Sunday cruise. That'd be cool. Yeah. But um, he's talking about it, and, we're t- and, and we watched. So Kanye West went on the Jimmy Kimmel show, right? I watched that today. Yeah, and it was, it's, it's a hilarious thing, and I think Kanye West is hilarious, but he made a fucking excellent point. Go ahead. Explain it like about him living in this world. Like, when I see Kanye, right, he reminds me of a troll victim. Right, it's like the world's trolling him, right? And he's getting really angry and upset, and he's getting mad. And it's so easy to troll this dude, right? Okay. And this is why I think Kanye is smart. All right, he calls himself a genius, but he lacks some social skills. And I know that might seem ridiculous because here's a guy with millions and millions of fans, but he lacks social skills. He he has the idea of a perfect world, all right? And we all have that idea. We all look around in the world and we see things that need to be changed. This is fucked up. That's wrong. It shouldn't be this way. Yeah. But we work within the system. We work within this world, right? And we voice our opinions and we try to change stuff. Kanye, right, is just like that. He has this vision of a perfect world and... He gets angry and upset when the world won't conform to his perfect world. Yeah. When the actual world doesn't work with what your world that you want to make it. Right. And so that's he a like silly. he refuses to live in this world. He li- lives in this world in his head, right? And he demands that everybody lives in the same world. Yeah. And it's like I don't know, dude. That dude has he just needs like one thing he was saying on there, right? He was saying that his girlfriend Kim Kardashian, right? She should be on the Walk of Stars or the what is it, the Walkway of Stars? What the, is it called? Hollywood Walk of Stars. Yeah. Right. He was saying that she should be on there, and I'm thinking to myself, why? For like that's what? for stars, right? It's for actors and for musicians. And then he made the statement. He's like, well, she's a reality star. And this is and and you know they need to get up with the times like this is the stars of today reality stars, but the thing that he was like missing the thing that he couldn't comprehend which was driving me insane is those are for people that have talent those are for amazing actors and actresses and and artists people that have a talent yeah <laughs> you know following someone around with a camera. And being a reality star is no. T- there's no talent there. You said. Uh, you said in the car that if Snooki or anyone in the Jersey Shore made it on the, the Hollywood Walk of Fame, it's like it completely devalues, debunks everyone. And on I'm there. a fan of of Jersey Shore. I love Jersey Shore. But I was like, yeah, I was saying like, if anyone in Jersey Shore got in there, what is the point? Yeah. That that is no longer filled with stars. It's kind of like it devalues John Wayne, Marilyn Monroe. Joe Pesci, like it, it devalues all those people. There's no skill there. So I don't know. 
He he's crazy. I, I'm just sitting here trying to make the perfect podcast. Yeah, and you're eating, eating fucking <laughs> shitty pizza on the podcast. I had to because you guys were forcing it down my throat. How were we forcing it down your throat? With a conversation, we were like trying to rip it out of your throat. Yeah. Get you better pizza. <laughs> Force that down your throat. <laughs> and a 500 pound hooker. I am so excited about Grand Theft Auto. I know. Oh my god! All of it's, I can't it's good. wait. Until they release the heist. See, I want you. See, here's the thing. What I would like you to do, Keem, is I'd like you to lose your dunce cap. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I want you to host missions because you you are like level a hundred something. Right. So you probably got the super gangster missions that pay out cheese. Yeah. Uh, there's a mission that I was doing that paid out twenty five thousand dollars every time I did it. I know, but you're at like level a hundred, so there's probably missions that pay you out like a hundred grand every time you do it. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the missions change. I don't know how it works. No, the missions definitely change. I don't really do a lot of missions. I've ranked up by being good at the game. Really? That's a good dunce cap. Yep. That's a good dunce cap, bro. Yep, I'm just good at the game. But I currently have no money. I have like $3,000. Oh, really? Yeah. I need to re-up. Okay, well, let's let's do some missions. I I guess if we... You, if, you, like, if you... Do the missions and then invite me. I could do these missions with you, probably carry you, and we'll both make a bunch of money. <laughs> that would be I meant cool. to ask you, how long does your dunce cap last for? Like, how do you lose it? I believe it's 48 hours. Uh, I'm wondering if I go on now, Should if, it will, if it will be gone. It should be gone, yeah. Well, you probably kept on murking people while you're with the dunce cap. You know what I mean? Yeah. So is it from your last offense? I mean, I, I understand that it's easy because I was doing a mission where I accidentally blew up my the dude I was doing the random dude on the server. I accidentally blew up his car, and they said, "Be careful! We you, you could make you a bad player for that." So and it was an accident. So, but you you just go around murking people in tanks and shit. So who knows if your dunce cap is from the last offense or from the initial offense to make you go into dunce cap mode? I don't know. I think it would be initial def- uh, initial offense because you're with other dunce cappers yeah. the whole time. So it's like. It's kind of okay. Yeah, you know, it's like putting it, it, a rapist with a bunch of rapists. If they rape each other, no one really cares. So I I don't you know. You are a rapist. I'm not a rapist. I think that Rockstar is a piece of shit. I think the Duns Cap rule is fucking dumb. I like how you think Rockstar is a piece of shit. I think that Little Caesar you has play. amazing pizza that you gives played. it to me fast you, you, and the way I want you, okay. it. This, I don't this, want this, no this five, this this 800 pound this bitch. Is shitty. This is what's shitty, okay? You were just like, I think Rockstar is a piece of shit. I like of nice the one, cars. Of the one thing that you did that makes you have to go into dunce cap mode, but you still play the game, like you probably put three or four hours a this day This is the why, game. this is why. Let me explain this to you. All right. Fucking Halo Reach released this game, right? Or Halo released this game called Halo Reach, all right? And they put this thing on where if multiple people mute you, all right, then you're automatically mute banned and nobody can talk to you. All right. So they Stupid. ruined it. They ruined That's it. That's shitty, yeah. You know, maybe a thousand people muted the same guy, but there was the one guy that was like, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, yeah, well, I'm going to beat you. And then engaged in that because that is part trash. Fuck. Sorry if I look tired. I've been up for over 20 hours. Yeah, we're probably gonna, we're going to wrap it up here in a sec. You forgot to clap before. All right. What was the question? Uh, the question is, how did you think the show went? Hmm. No, before that. <clears throat> oh, you you what were just you were just about? going on about how uh, it's shitty, how Rockstar and how it's uh, ridiculous because in Halo Reach, right? Yeah. If you get muted, then I'm everyone level. I probably, probably cut me off. So I'm trying to sit again. In Halo Reach, right? They, they created this thing, and it was called a mute ban. And what would happen is if a couple people muted you on Xbox Live, right? It triggered this thing, and it was like, okay, this person's disruptive, and it banned that person, right? Okay. And, and they were permanently uh, muted, all right? So nobody could hear them. And it happened to me. But what happens is, is it ruins the whole social aspect of the game because multiple people could be... You know, upset with this person being loud, talking shit, and mute them, right? But there's also a big percentage that want to engage in that trash talking and that competitive spirit prior to a game. 
And then when Halo 4 came out, they made it so only you could hear your teammates. You could not hear the other team prior to the match. So there was no beginning of trash talk. They ruined the whole, like, I'm going to kick your ass aspect yeah. of that fucking game. And in Call of Duty, right, that, what's lacking in Call of Duty is nobody cares because you're not locked on teams. The next fucking game after this one, you're probably going to be on the same team. So there's no That's they don't so they don't develop any yeah. team spirit, right? What it should do, right, is it should throw a bunch of people into two teams, keep them there on those two teams, right? But what if those teams are unbalanced? Yeah, they got to balance it. I mean, I hate that personally, but What do you they, mean unbalanced? Okay, if you have a bunch of good like let's say whatever reason there's I, a I bunch know what of you're good talking players, about. I know what unbalanced a- means, but it should fucking matter, right? It should just take random people. So how would you get how would you get new players in? Think about this, bro. If you come on to Call of Duty, if you've never played Call of Duty before, right? And you come on and you get in the lobby and you play against fucking just beasts and legends and you get your shit pushed in like bad. I'm talking like swarms up in the first minute. They win the uh-huh. game and kill confirmed 102 to 7 or some shit like that. Like right. Some, just an ass whooping. Then That's you're eventually not- going to quit. Yeah. And then new so people are going to come in on that team. They have to bounce. They have to bounce the teams. Otherwise, if, if it's now, a, it's going to get boring for the people whooping ass, and the people that get their ass whooped are not going to have an enjoyable experience. No, 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 no. Because you only get good by playing against better players. I agree. I you agree only get good by playing against good players, right? You're not going to get good if you fucking play with noobs for the rest of your life. And what about the good players? Then they're going to get worse if they play against noobs for the rest of their life. They want to continue getting better, right? Like they it, want to play against good players too. It should match against people. It should match people up to compete against uh, just people randomly. It shouldn't be matched to rank well, like that. Yeah, here's the thing. They, th- I agree with that, and it should be that way. I think it should match you up based on your connection because connection is such a big part of Call of Duty. Okay. Yeah. They went this route where they started matching you up based on your skill level and not based off connection. If there's, I live in New York. If there's some noobs in New York, let me play them. Or if there's good players in New York, let me play them. I'm going to have a better experience if I'm playing people locally than I am. Because connection is such a huge part of it, especially with right. such a Twitch shooter as Call of Duty. So let's focus on connection rather than matching up with people that have similar stats than me. That's stupid. Noah, thank you for coming on the show. It was awesome. No problem. Um, times. This is going to be fucking hell editing, putting together. I'm not looking yeah. forward to that one bit. There's probably going to be a lot of comments saying Blade should have talked in his microphone. They were a little low. <laughs> He's so angry. <laughs> but he doesn't. He refused to talk to the thing. I don't there talk no the comments how you... I'm not sure if you did it this time, but you burped into the mic and then ate pizza. No comments about that, though. Only Blade. So I'm looking no, to No, they there, there probably won't be. There might be now that you mentioned it, but prior to that... If no, you they already it, commented that... 10 minutes ago when you were doing it like the they con- they i was testing the base and they thought that, that you were was not awesome. testing the base you wanted to eat <laughs> all i'm saying Caesar, is people day old little caesars well, eventually mm. we're gonna get this thing working perfectly and i'm telling you like this thing only records right here on this end bro okay so i'm not gonna deep throat the mic though okay but if you don't talk into the mic then i it am sounds talking like into this. the mic I am talking into the mic, dude. It just drives me insane because you have to talk into the mic. I am talking into the mic. You're doing it right now, and it sounds awesome. I've been doing that the whole fucking podcast. You're trying to (laughs) fucking get me pissed off. All right, well, we'll just watch the post uh, thing. Uh, Good night, everyone. Thank you for watching the BKS. Peace.